consist of the the SIU, the National Prosecuting Authority, the Director for Priority Crime Investigation, the Financial Intelligence Center, Corruption Watch, the Council for the Bold Environment, Master Builders Association, um, South African Council for Architectural Professions, uh, Consulting Engineers for South Africa, EXA, the South African Black Technical and Allied Careers Organization, uh, SAPTAKU, uh, the South African Bureau of Standards, a Business Unity South Africa, uh, and the Human Science Research Council. These are the, the members that we are starting off with, but certainly as we go along, we can always go out and bring more members um, on board. So, the, the forum that we are establishing is part of the goals of the National Development Plan, which is clear in fighting corruption and that it also should involve all members of society. The forum is also part of government's seven key priorities um, of the sixth administration to build a capable, ethical and developmental state. Colleagues, and we all know that corruption is one rampant in our country in the built environment for too long. The state has the structures in place, but government cannot do this work alone. And that is why we brought together the private sector, public entity, civil society in this forum so that we can work together and in so doing, we will be able to prevent and detect corruption. Our people need better roads, hospitals, schools, better services, better government buildings. And we cannot allow the crooks to continue to steal billions from infrastructure. People, no matter who they are, cannot be allowed to continue to steal and stifle progress and delivery at the expense of the most vulnerable in our society. Anyone in, involved in corrupt activities found guilty must face the full consequences of the law and therefore this forum is being established to bring together all the inspectors all the stakeholders to ensure more effective investigations and also for investigations to be expedited. Because we must work together to put an end to the scourge of corruption because corruption steals from the poor. We also need a clear path in delivering quality infrastructure to create the crowding and effect for more investment from the private sector. Corruption is also causing a trust deficit between government and investors. And we must work hard to instill confidence in investors to invest more money in infrastructure in our country. And this is what we need to fix. We need to fix that trust deficit. Uh, and to regain the confidence of society at large and investors, we must show that government is capable of holding the corrupt and the delinquent to account. So the forum will be an integral tool in our emanation of measures to mitigate against corruption while we implement the infrastructure investment plan. The work of this forum and other measures to guard the infrastructure investment plan against corruption will also bring a greater level of transparency and will give credibility to the implementation of the infrastructure investment plan. Corruption thrives where there is no openness. And 
therefore, transparency is the best deterrent to root out corruption. We need all hands on deck to root out corruption and assist with the reconstruction and recovery of our economy. Because if we don't get this right, we will all sink together. So the forum will have oversight um, of investigations and will see various agencies working together to investigate any reported and alleged corruption so that we will enhance accountability in the implementation of the infrastructure investment plan. What is different about this forum is that we bring together all of the forum, all of the stakeholders, law enforcement, civil society, the private sector, state institutions, and, and we, we've adopted a collaborative approach, a multidisciplinary approach uh, to, to prevent and detect corruption and prevent fraud and corruption in the infrastructure space. By having all the relevant parties sitting together around the same table, the necessary work to be done in attending to the allegations can be allocated to the relevant structure, to the relevant party, who is best to deal with the matter based on, the, on, on, on their mandate. I'm just going to give you a summary of the mandate of the forum. The mandate of the forum is to collaborate, consult, and support and cooperate with one another to address the consequences of vulnerabilities in the infrastructure sector through one, criminal prosecution and civil litigation, as well as through prevention initiatives such as corruption risk assessments, awareness programs, identification and detection of corruption, controls, improvements, systems, recommendations, and most importantly, monitoring and reporting. So, in terms of how the investigations will be done uh, to, to, expedite, to expedite the investigations, the, the forum will then also report on a quarterly basis. We will report regularly about the work that we are doing. So, we have established a forum steering committee, which will assess all allegations received, and then refer those allegations for further action to the relevant um, structure. But the, um, the steering committee will also monitor these referrals and make sure that we fast track those referrals. In terms of the role of the private sector, Professional bodies and civil society organizations all on the forum, they can bring allegations directly to the forum for investigations, and we will then assist with the investigations and then also monitor the investigations. 